Um, so I'm going to give you guys a second chance to win a pup. You know what I'm saying? Like 25 bucks. Goes a cat. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. Come on, those cat. Yes, sir. What's up, baby? What's up, girl? What's up, girl? What's up, girl? What's up, girl? Come on, give me that, baby. Come on, come on. Get in there, baby. Come on. Listen, to got, today, you guys, is a very special day for two reasons. Today, a king was born. Happy birthday to myself. Um, I don't even care about no birthday. Most people only birthday, but I got to hang out, go to the club, party, chill, all that. Forget all that. I got to get money. I got people to take care of, kids to take care of. I got bigger things to worry about than a birthday. I'm appreciative that I'm still here and I'm on this earth. But um, today is this girl's surgical. Um, I'm gonna have to get in there, you guys, because the surgical later on in the afternoon. So I'm gonna take her right now to get her uh, last progesterone. I got a progesterone two days ago, but again, you guys, like I always tell y'all, you got to be on point. You got to be on point. So um, last time I took her, she was at a 15.9 or something like that. I want to go and get her surgical when she's at a in between a 20 and 20, 20 and 26. Don't forget I took I took what's it called? Uh Hennessy get her surgical at a, uh what was it Hennessy? No, 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 no. I took Abigail. I took Abigail. No, 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 I took Gigi to get her surgical at 40, and she still took and gave me seven. I took Hennessy at like a 30-something. So I'm hoping she's later in her in her heat because her first seat I got her first pregnancy I got five. Um and I did it early, I did it around like a 17. So this time I want I wanted between a 20 and a 27. So surgical later, so I'm going to take her to get her first projection room. Um and we'll go from there, you guys. I'm so excited with her and this juice breeding, man. I bet this is gonna be very spectacular. Like that's gonna be spectacular. Um and I'm excited. You guys, listen, today. Starts a new raffle. We are raffling off a uh, Gigi uh, Hennessy puppy. One of uh, my buyers back out on a Hennessy female. She's going to be raffled off, you guys. So there's going to be 250 spots. The raffle is going to be $25 to enter. Um, the other raffle, I'm not going to lie, it went by, it, 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 they cashed out pretty fast. It cashed out in about three days. So if you're on YouTube and you're interested, and join the raffle and you don't have social media, what I need you to do, my fault, y'all. What I need you guys to do is to go to my email. Send me an email that you want to join. My cash app is going to be in the description box. And I'm going to pop my cash app up in the beginning of the video. But um, go back, see your 25. Make sure you see your 25. You um, email me or DM me your first and last name and a screenshot of your cash app that you signed. So I'm raffling her off. Because there was a lot of people after I stopped the first raffle who was sending me money. And I had to refund a lot of money because they were missed out on the first one. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a second chance to win a pup. You know what I'm saying? Like 25 bucks. Um, today, I announced the winners for the first one. Congrats to them. Um, so this one's going to have two prizes. This one's going to have the puppy and 500 bucks. So there are going to be two winners. Um, chances still pretty, pretty, pretty good. It's only 250 spots. So, uh, if you don't have social media, email me. Email is going to be, I'll leave the email in the description box. It don't really matter. Um, email in the description box, email me. Make sure you send me your first and last name and a screenshot of the payment you sent. Um, also, if you email, if you, if you have to, if you don't have social media, just send me your phone number also. Um, but don't miss this one, you guys. Whoever missed the first one, there's a second one right back. Hey, I'm doing back to back. Another giveaway. So 25 bucks to enter. Um, you can enter as many times as you would like. 250 spots. When they are filled, same thing. If you DM me, if you cash me extra money, it will be refunded. Um, so let's get you guys. Let's go ahead and start my day. I love you guys. All right, y'all. So I'm getting everybody locked and loaded. Everybody getting ready to go. Got 
Got Abigail ready. My son Juice coming. Cause y'all know who she getting bread to. My son Juice. So we getting ready to go and um, take this trip to go get the surgical done on Abigail. Um, I come back to you guys when we get in the car. All right? All right, you guys, so we locked and loaded. I am excited for this breeding. Got my son in my lap, my son, Jules. Abigail. Abigail, you ready, babe? Got my son, Jules. So we're not going to the guy um, we normally go to that we went to, like, that we went to for uh, Hennessy and um, um, Gigi. And the reason being because he's on vacation. So, you know, you guys know it's around Christmas time. So, you know, with him being on vacation, He's out of state. No, he's out of the country. He's actually from Puerto Rico, so he's in Puerto Rico. Um, but I'm excited. I had a couple people lock in the juice. Um, maybe two or three lock in the juice a couple days ago. Because you guys know, like I told you, he's currently at 2,500. I got him at 2,500 right now. Because when I produce this litter with him and Abigail, um, I'm going to definitely take him up to 4K. And, you know, he done produced his stuff. I don't know. You know he has really produced a lot of color and some nice dogs. Interested in seeing some of his dogs, I mean, all you gotta do is just go to my IG at CB Kennels and I, I got everything posted on my IG. So, um, you know, he has produced himself. Watch out, Juice. So, you know, he is verified. So, but listen, you guys, um, just a word of encouragement today. I won't even, I haven't given you guys no word of encouragement in a while. So, word of encouragement for today is listen, um, you gotta always remember, you guys, always remember. I was not always where I was at, which means, you know, I was at once selling $2,000 dogs, $1,500 dogs. See, but the thing about it is, you got to look at certain things as an opportunity. You don't have to, one thing about you, one thing about people, man, y'all got to, I'm going to give y'all the game. I'm going to really give y'all the, 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 the name of the game that nobody really telling nobody, bro. I'm going to get a game with, fuck it, I don't care, I'm going to get a game with. But it's bully game, it's called a flip game, literally, that's what it's called. It's called a flip game. So what the flip game consists of? This is what the flip game consists of. Everybody had to start at the bottom. I mean, it's just like when you play a sport. You ain't gonna start off real. You know what I'm saying? Unless you just jump in the game, spending 10 bands, 20 bands, 30 bands. You know what I'm saying? And even still, you can spend that much money, but it's not a guarantee you're gonna be able to sell puppies for $8,000, $7,000. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're buying a dog for that much money, that don't mean you're gonna be able to sell a puppy for nine, 10 bands. Always remember that. It's always about marketing. That's the key word, marketing. I just told you guys this is called a flip game. So this is called a flip game. It's all about knowing how to market, knowing how to market, knowing how to sell. Um, well, also you gotta produce nice dogs. You can't just be producing bullshit and expect to go to the top. It's not gonna work. You gotta know how to market. Of course, I started, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna tell you guys how the game worked out. If you got a dog that's worth 2500 3500 bro, don't, don't kill yourself, lose your house, lose your family, trying to go broke. I did, I ain't gonna lie, I did it. I'm a guy with y'all. I did it. Like, well, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't go that far, but like, I was spending the rent money for the apartment on dogs. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm a hustler. I can get it back. Everything I'm saying, when I say hustler, everything I speak on is legal. I don't do illegal stuff. I've never did illegal stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everything is legal. I've hustled, you know, work three or four, five jobs. You know what I'm saying? Watch cars. You know what I'm saying? Everything it is to get them, to get the rent money back up. But one thing you got to realize, you got to be able to invest in your life. You got to be able to invest in your life. You know what I'm saying? Invest in your future. Invest into your business. Invest into your brand. That's how you grow your brand, by investing into it. So like I was telling you guys, um, you know, if you got a $3,500, $2,500, bro, make that shit work, bro. Like, literally, don't kill yourself, lose your house, lose your car, lose everything, trying to fund yourself with this dog business, bro. Like, bro, literally, if you got, make what you got work. So if you got a little cheap dog, you make, come on, man, let them drive, man. Light just turn green. I hate that do that. They blow the horn and let you pull off. So this is what you do, bro. You make what you got work. You got a, you know, you got a pit bull. You got a pit bull. You get people puppies. You get two litters. You sell them for $500 a pop. Pit bulls have a lot of dogs. I know this. I used to have pit bulls. Them mothers had 12 babies. You sell them for $500 a pop. Cool. You make that money. You flip that money. You keep that money. You go buy you a nice pocket or whatever you're trying to excel, whatever. It don't matter. You go, you don't, it don't have to be top of the line first quarter. You buy something, you know, not too expensive, something nice, and you take that, and you, you, now you went from 500 from pit bull. Now you done bought a nice, let's just say pocket. You done bought a nice pocket for $2,500, $3,500. Now you done had six, seven puppies. You done sold them. You done now you done made ten, fifteen bands. Well, ten. I just say ten 
thousand. He'll make ten thousand. Now, if you want to, you take seven thousand eighty five hundred and go buy you a next level micro, a bad micro for eight nine thousand dollars. Micro, I'm be honest with y'all. Listen, I'm not telling you got to jump in the game and spend ten bands, but if you want a nice quality micro, you're not finna buy a nice quality micro for four thousand. I'm just be honest with you. Like you not, bro. Like you not finna buy a, a nice micro that's able to breathe. With right, the right papers, everything, bro, you're not finna buy that shit. I'm just be honest with you. You're not finna find a micro for 45, honey. Able to breathe, able to produce, those, all this, you know what I'm saying, stuff you need to throw to make money. You're not finna do it. I feel like, personally, when you looking at micros, you want to start at 65, Simple. Micros, you want to start, unless, unless I'm, I'm going to say this, unless you find somebody who just giving you a hell of a deal. But even still, you got to be curious about that because motherfuckers are scamming nowadays. Motherfuckers are scamming, selling dogs that can't breathe. I know because I bought a dog that can't breathe. You know what I'm saying? Back in the past, past, past. So, you know what I'm saying? If a bitch trying to come to you with a dog that's $1,500, and that shit is a micro, nine times out of ten, it's not a micro. That bitch going to be six foot seven, and that bitch cannot produce. A real quality micro going to run you at least $6,500 minimum. But you shouldn't be tripping on that money because I know everybody can't jump out the gate and spend that much money, but... You're gonna realize as you keep doing the flip game, meaning you got your pit bulls, you saw your pit bulls, now you got your pocket, you saw your pockets. Now you should have 15 bands to be able to go buy a nice quality micro for 6500 You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta use your life savings to do that. It's a process, you guys. I always remember that. But I'll catch you guys in a few. I'm at the dogs out in a little bit. I'm just bathroom and stuff. But um, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. This point, Juice Chill. You don't see that. Juice! Sit down, guy. I'll catch y'all in a little bit, man. We are here. You guys remember I told y'all earlier in the video. I was going to Biggs, um, the lady I normally, the one they I used to go to, because my other man is on vacation. Juice, you ready, son? My boy, you ready? I got my, yeah, my fault, y'all. Got my girl in the cut. I gotta let Juice out and go to the bathroom. But we are here, y'all. We are here. Come on, Juice, go and I go to the bathroom, guy. Come on, I go to the bathroom, son. Go to the bathroom, my boy. Don't pee. Watch this. I guarantee he's going to pee on something, y'all. He's going to lift his leg and pee on something. That boy disrespectful as hell, boy. Go to the bathroom, guy. Hurry up. Go to the bathroom. Damn, you throwing slide and shit? Go to the bathroom, my boy. But I knew he going to pee on something. Like, he pee on a tire instead of just squatting down and peeing. That's that dominant pee. I need to go check in with her and make sure everything good. I just wanted to show you guys what we got here. Abigail, you ready, baby? You ready, baby? Baby, you ready? Are you excited? You excited and ready? No? Are oh, you be looking so mad all the time? What's wrong? It's a great day. The freaks come out at night. Everything, baby. Let's get it. Juice. Come on, get in the car. Come on, girl. See, be killing it. Y'all ready for this? Juice. Get your butt back, Juice. Abigail. Yes, sir. Breathing going down. Surgical. Y'all see that color? Stop playing. And me, y'all know I love animals. I ain't even gonna lie. When I get my house, like, just a good example... Because I know y'all been like, oh, when you get your acres, what do you want? Bro, this is what I want, literally. I want my house to sit up here. Like they said, this is my house. This is like my my barn for my... This is technically a barn, but she turned it into an office. So this would be like my office, you know what I'm saying? Like, But I have kennels inside. It'd be Everything could be air conditioned, TV, full uh, furnished, uh, TV bathroom, um, couches, everything. Um, and then my acres of land going to have like my, my animals. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up, my guy? What it is, my guy? What it is, my guy? Come on, let me on me. Come on, let me on me. What's going on, my guy? Boy, you is stink, boy. What you here, Merle, man? You Merle, you try. Boy, your water dirty in the mud, man. Move it up. If I drop my phone, you get back to me? No? All right, don't worry about it. It's all good. Where your homies at? Where your homies at? But he just made this sound. That shit was weird as hell. Hey, 
Hey y'all, comment down below if y'all know what this mean. Do this mean he about to attack me? Or do this mean he mad? Cause I don't know. What that mean, y'all? Tell me what that mean. I know some people got farms, some people got goats, but whatever. Let me know what that sound mean, man. He about to attack me or what? I just wanna fit that bro, I just wanna holler at you, bro. That shit. Okay. What? Bro, I sound like bro, I'm talking about it sound, it sound like you're trying to get crazy, man. What's up? Huh? You talking to me, guy? Man, y'all comment down below what he trying to say, man. What? What you on about? What you on about? Why are you growling at me? So, pocket bully, pit. Pit bull, pocket bully. That's what we used to consider a red nose back in my day. That's what we considered a red nose. That's a pocket bully. He growling. He mad. I don't know what he mad for. It's a nice pocket bully, though. All right, you guys. So, she ready to start the surgery. Um, I don't. We already pulled juice. We already pulled juice, got a semen right and everything, so we're good on that. Um, so what they what she did was she pulled him already um, and got his uh, his uh, sperm already in the syringe ready to go. Because what they do is they pull the sperm, they lick up on it. Well, how I like mine is done is I like to pull the sperm, get licked up on the microscope, make sure it's fine, which I know juice sperm is fine. I got him checked out a couple months ago. But his sperm is fine. Um, now she's ready for me to go ahead and bring her inside so we can start the surgery. Let's go, girl. You ready? Yeah. 